Welcome to part three of power supplies. We will be building a regulated power supply using fixed voltage regulators. In parts one and two we discussed rectification and filtering. Now we begin to look at voltage regulation. Pictured here is a classical three pin fixed voltage regulator. The 7800 series comes in a variety of voltages. In this, sir, in this series we will be looking at the 7805 and build a 5 volt power supply. Pictured here is the pinout of the individual device. It looks like a TO220 transistor. Note that the input, ground, and output locations Often with a, a regulator like this, uh, we could use it without Q1, but that, but using Q1 will allow us to pass a great deal more power. The diode D1 compensates for the 6 tenths volt drop across Q1. In this case, we could even come up with an odd voltage such as 10 volts by simply inserting a zener diode in the ground side or pin 2. This would give us increased current and an oddball voltage that we might not be able to find otherwise. Pictured here are the components we're going to be used to construct our 5 volt uh, 5 amp regulated power supply. This is a power transformer. This is our power transistor. This is our 7805 voltage regulator. This is just a diode. There's your filter capacitor. It's a 3300 microfarads at 35 volts. Here is our diode bridge. And up here are just various jumpers we'll be using. Notice the physical size of the transistor up here is much greater than the 7805 even with its heat sink. That's because a, a 2N3055 which I'm using here will carry up to 20 amps. 15 to 20 amps as were the 7805 might carry an amp and even then it's getting pretty hot. Here I've already inserted the diode bridge into the proto board. For ease of construction I'm going to take these orange wires here and connect to the AC inputs on the diode bridge and bring them both connections back here to the edge of the board. That makes it a lot easier to plug in the two yellow leads on my transformer. Next I'm going to take the negative side of the diode bridge and use a black color jumper and jump it over here to the blue strip. I'm going to use blue as my negative common. I'm going to go ahead and jumper the positive of the diode bridge up here along the top with the red strip. That's going to be my unfiltered DC. Next I'm going to take the filter capacitor, make sure the positive side goes to the positive and the negative side going to, goes to the negative. If you reverse the polarity on this part um, you could uh, damage the transformer, the capacitor, and, and there have been cases I've seen some of these capacitors explode and throw pieces all over the place. We'll move this ground jumper back just a little bit. Here now is my 7805. The input is here, ground output. I'm going to go ahead and insert
the regulator over here. From the ground pin in the center, I'm going to insert this rectifier diode so I can raise it so I can raise it to a 5.6 volt to make up for the transistor when I put it in. The banded side is the cathode. The cathode goes to the negative and the anode side goes to the plugs in as the center to the voltage uh, 7805 voltage regulator. Now I'm going to take a red wire. I'm going to jumper the raw unregulated DC into pin 1 here. Next I'm going to take the pass regulator power transistor. I've already soldered leads to it uh, in order to make easy connections to this board. Blue wire being the base, orange wire being the emitter, and green wire being the collector. The collector will have to connect back to the raw unregulated DC. The base connects to pin 3 on the output of the voltage regulator and the emitter now becomes our new output. As shown here my output voltage is 5.07 volts that's well within range of what we need and due to the power transistor it can carry up to 3 amps which is really the capacity of the transformer. That completes on how to assemble a basic uh, power supply. We will be looking at other circuits later on. In the circuit we just constructed any of the 7800 voltage regulators can be used. If one uses a 7824, then you will end up with the appropriate transformer and filter capacitor, uh, 24 volts at 3 amps out, or whatever the rating of the transformer. That completes this section.